So in this video, I will show you the second scenario where a point and a line on the plane is uh, are given. So equation of a plane determined by a point and a line on the plane. So here is on the plane. A line or a, a point and a line on the plane. This time the line is not perpendicular to the plane. So can op be obtained by this four step. So step number one, we can determine the parallel vector A, B, C from the line. So from this line, a line given, it can be a parametric line. It can be a parametric line. The line can be in parametric form or Cartesian form. Or sometimes Cartesian form is known as the symmetric symmetric form. So from the, the line, we determine the A, B, and C. Next, in order to find the normal vector, we need two vector. Two uh, vector in order to find the normal vector. So form another vector. So the first vector is the A, B, C from the line. And then form another vector from the point on the plane, which is from the P node. Using the P node and X, Y, X node, Y node, Z node from the line. So if you still remember, again, for the parametrics, here is the formula X node plus T A. Y is equals to Y node plus T B. I've shown you several times. I hope that you can remember this parametric equation formula. Z is equal to Z naught plus T C. This is the parametric equation. If the Cartesian equation is X minus X naught over A, sorry, it's not comma, it's equal to Y minus Y naught over B, and this equals to Z minus Z naught over C. So the first vector we can get from the A, B, and C. We can get the A, B, and C. We can use the A, B, C in step one in order to get the first vector. And we can we have to form another vector. How are we going to form another vector? From the P node and X node, Y node, Z node. So where to get the X node, Y node, Z node? Here is the X node, Y node, and Z node. If the equation in, in Cartesian form, here will be our X node y naught and z naught. From this vector with the p naught, we have to form another vector. So if, which means that after step one and step two, after step one and step two, we will have two vector. From that two vector, we've tried to find the normal vector. How? By using the cross product i, j, and k. So from this part, I will find the n. And then using the p naught and n, from the point on the plane, which is the P naught, here is the P naught, and the normal vector obtained from the equation by the of the plane. Obtain, we can obtain the equation of the plane by using this formula. So in the second case, you can see that the normal vector is not given. So we can form the normal vector. Let's say we look at this example. Find the equation of the plane containing the point. So here is our P naught and the line so here is our line first we can get a vector from the a b and c so the i can write in here the first vector from the step number one is our a b and c which is equals to in this case is seven negative one and 7, negative 1, and 2. So then, another second vector. A second vector, before we find the cross product, the second vector we can get is by using this point, the P node, and the X node, Y node, Z node. Just like I mentioned before, where is our X node, Y node, Z node? Here is our X node, Y node, and Z node. So for the second vector, we can use the point P, which is 7, 0, and 1, the P node. And let's say I let Q is equals to the X node, Y node, Z node. 
So you can use Q, you can use A, you can use B. It's up to you. Let's say I use Q, which is 7, 3, and here is 0. We don't have the constant, which is 0. So let's say I use Q, another point here, 7, X naught. Our Y naught is 3. Z naught is 0. Because we don't have the constant here. This 2 is the uh, C. So our Z naught is 0. So from these two points, we can form the vector, a second vector. How are we going to find a uh, second vector? The vector of PQ. If you still remember, is negative P plus Q. So from here, you can refer to this part, negative P, uh, negative P plus Q. So we can get the vector, which is 0, 3, and negative 1. So here is the first vector. Now we get the second vector. From these two vectors, we can find the normal vector or perpendicular vector. How are we going to find? By using the cross product, which is I, J, and K. So by filling this number, 7, negative 1, and 2, 7, negative 1, and 2. Then the second vector is 0, 3, and negative 1. So from here, you can, from the cross product, you can get the normal vector. So we can see here, this is the calculation. And then here is the normal vector. Or I can transform into negative 5, 7, and 21. So now we have the point. The first point, x, uh, our p, p naught is this one. And then we have, let's say I use another color. We have our p naught. Here is our p naught, which is the point on the plane. And then we have a normal vector by using the cross product. So from this two point, uh, one is the point, another one is the vector, normal vector. Here you can see, negative 5, 7, and 21 is our normal vector. P is x, y, z. P naught is 7, 0, and 1. So 7, 0, and 1. So you can see, from here we can obtain the equation of the plane. So in our second example, you can see that the normal vector is not given. So let's say we look at this exercise, more or less same as the second example. Find the equation of a plane that passes through the point. So passes through this point means that this is our p naught. Here is our p naught, and contain this line. So first step number one. First step, we can get the first vector from the value of a, b, and c. A, B, and C. So this is the first vector. First vector is the A, B, and C. Where in this case is negative 2, 5, and 4. So in our second step, we're going to use the P naught, which is 6, 0, and negative 2. And our x naught, y naught, z naught from the line. x naught, y naught, z naught from this line. In this case, our x naught is 4, y naught is 3, z naught is 7. So 4, 3, and 7. From these two points, the first point, which is the p naught, and the second point, x naught, y naught, z naught, we have to form another vector. Let's say I let P is 6, 0, and negative 2. And Q is 4, 3, and 7. So we form a vector, which is a vector PQ. So negative P plus Q. So which is negative 6, 0, and negative 2. Plus Q, Q is 4, 3, and 7. So here I should have negative 6, 0, and positive 2, plus 4, 3, and 7. So negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, 
0 plus 3 is 3 and 2 plus 7 is 9. So here is another vector. In our third step, we have to find the normal vector. How are we going to find the normal vector? By using the cross product i. The first row is i, j, and k. So the second row will be our abc, which is negative 2, 5, and 4. And our third row is the second vector that we found from the p node and the x node, y node, z node. So which is negative 2, 3, and 9. Negative 2, 3, and 9. So from this part, first i, so the first, closing the first row and the first column, I have 5, 4, 3, and 9. Don't forget, here is positive, negative, positive. Just like finding the uh, determinants. So the second is negative j, closing the first row and the second column which is negative 2, 4, negative 2, and 9. Finally, plus k, the vector of k. And then closing the first row and the third column, we have negative 2, 5, negative 2, and 3. So from here, we should have our normal vector. So this part, 9 times 5, 45, minus 12, minus j, Using a square bracket, 9 times 2, negative 18, minus, here is negative 8, plus the normal uh, the vector of k. And then here we should have negative uh, this one, 3 times negative 2, negative 6, minus 5 times negative 2, negative 10. So, yes, this one. Okay, good. So 45 minus 12. So suppose this is 45 minus 12. I should get 33i. So from here is 1 minus. Here I should have negative 18 plus 8 which is negative 10. So negative 10j. Plus here I should have negative 6 minus plus 10. So this is positive 4k. So I try to simplify this part. My normal vector is 33i plus 10j plus 4k. So from this part, I can use the formula finally. The equation of the plane will be the normal vector dot product of normal vector times p minus p naught is equals to zero. So where our normal vector I change into the coordinate form 33, 10, and 4 dot product with x minus x naught. Our p naught, the first one, where is our p naught? Our p naught is 6, 0, and negative 2. Our p naught here 6. 0 and negative 2. Again, I check again. P, 0, 6, 0, and negative 2. Yes, correct. So, P minus P naught, the first one is 6. Y minus 0. And finally, Z minus negative 2. Is equals to 0. So, here, 33 times X minus 6 plus 10 times Y. Y minus 0 is Y. Plus 4 times Z plus 2 is equals to 0. So we try to expand 33x minus 33 times 6. This is 198 plus 10y plus 4z plus 8 is equals to 0. Finally, 33x plus 10y plus 4z. So here we can see Neg negative 198 plus 8. This one is negative 190 is equals to 0. So this is the equation of the plane. So this is the second scenario where the normal vector is not given. So you only given a P naught, a point on the plane, and the line on the plane. So in this case, we can find the first vector 
So since we have to find the normal vector, we need two vectors. So the first vector is come from the value of A, B, C, from the parametric line, from this parametric line. And then the second vector we can form by using the P node and the X node, Y node, Z node from this line, which is in this case is 4, 3, and 7. So we can form another vector, let's say I let it as P and Q, from the form the vector of PQ, which is negative P plus Q. So from this, we can get the second vector. So here is our first vector. And here is our second vector. From these two vector, we can find the normal vector by using the cross product. So from this part, we will get our N. Since we have our N node, uh, our n normal vector and our p node so we can find the equation of the plane by using this formula so here we get the formula